Matic uh, against the U.S. dollar on the weekly chart. Let's look at the big picture here. Um, looking at the volume on the bottom, nothing big um, since the big one. Uh, the big sell volume at the tweezer top right here going into resistance zone. Uh, that was right at the $1.30 area. $1.30, $1.35, there's your resistance zone, the previous level that you broke after holding us support for a good amount of time. So we finally revisited that with two consecutive weekly candles. Uh, you can see a tweezer top, right? Very similar heights, uh, the wicks, and then, you know, the sell-off after that. Now we're back down at this support zone uh, that we kind of lifted ourselves up to and kind of made over the past uh, six months or so. So since um, July, going all the way back to July, we were kind of holding this 70, 73, 72 cent level. Uh, if we break, right, if you see prices, you wake up any point, point in time, and you see prices of Matic under 70 cents, it's a major warning, right? We're probably at least going back to test these lows, if not lower, right? Uh, that is huge. You do not want to be breaking market structure here after, you know, kind of booing up and kind of holding this long-term support. Um, six months, right? You don't want to be giving that up. If we do, there's nothing, right? There's nothing holding us up, right? You, you can even zoom out as far as you want. Uh, you can give this. This is credit for why we bottomed here. Why is that? Well, you zoom out, you look left, and miraculously, you're going to find something usually uh, that happened previous history, right? It's all human emotion, right? There's nothing based on a TA is based around humans, uh, plain and simple. So pre people remember this previous price point and they step in, right? That's it. So now if we break this 70 cent level, likely a retest of somewhere down in here and at best case scenario you got to hope for a higher low whatever this low was uh 31 cents 32 cents depending on what exchange you're at so let's say you know we break down here if if we can bounce off around maybe the 40 cent level and do something like this that's okay in the grand scheme of things what you would not want to do and would be very concerning is break that low right if you break uh, that low, then, I mean, who knows where Bitcoin and the rest of the crypto world is in if Matic is doing something like this. So we don't have to think about that just yet. You don't have to get your tissues out, uh, but prepare yourself, right? You want to be prepared for the upside and the downside. To the upside, uh, this is going to hold true for uh, the remainder of the bull, the bull run. When we come, uh, you know, six months, 12 months, whenever it comes again, right? This will likely be a significant level for Matic, 130 to 135. Because, right, resistance, tweezer top on the weekly right there. If we can break through that, you see Matic uh, above 140. Then we've got just like the below, if we break this, if we break the resistance zone, we have some room to play and some lines to draw. Uh, <laughs> we have uh, we, we have a bunch of breathing, breathing room right here, right? We can, we can make an explosive move, but not until we are above this zone, right? This is going to be the flip level for Matic. To the upside, to the downside, right here, right, right here. We have kind of the three zones, right? If you can translate all of this uh, Crayola crayons, then kudos to you. Hopefully you've been paying attention because <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> all right, so that's Matic kind of updated in uh, the weekly form, right? Not a whole lot of volume, right? Look at the volume kind of decreasing. So uh, we do, if we, if we get kind of another scenario, right? Just because we break it, right? You want to wait for confirmation. So we could end up doing something like this, where it's kind of a fake out. We got to watch Bitcoin, see where that's going on. Uh, but this is another scenario that a lot of people might not be prepared for. And it is a kind of a um, bottoming scenario market wide. If you briefly make a lower low and then kind of recover immediately within like a week or two, then you could save it. But if you see us closing below here, the odds are going up that we have to test this zone again. So um, kind of a, a pivot level here. So watch that for Matic uh, the indicators. Nothing, nothing, nothing going right. The bulls are still in charge on the weekly, right? The greens on top ADX going up. That's a good sign. But we want to see. Let me look at this. This is what we want to be paying attention to. The peak on the ADX. See this? The orange. What do we notice? Right. Lower, 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 lower highs. Um, so we need to reverse that. We need to take out this for the ADX on the weekly, right? It could just, you know, be, be, you know, a couple months off. If we do that though, that's the sign that the bulls are starting to show back up, um, and, and a bigger way, right? That's it. 
So let's zoom back out if we can. Uh, the RSI, right? RSI, relative strength. Relative strength to what? The rest of the market. So it's a 45 on the weekly. Go check your other favorite altcoins against Matic, against Bitcoin. The RSI needs to be higher than Bitcoin. Otherwise, you should probably just hold Bitcoin. It's the most safe, right? You're not going to make the best gains with Bitcoin, which is why majority of you don't hold it. Uh, but guess what? You're not going to get rugged on Bitcoin either, okay? Uh, at least until Satoshi comes out and said it was, you know, whoever. <laughs> Can you imagine if uh, it was somebody like one of the uh, <laughs> Sam Bank? <laughs> that guy's too dumb. Um, all right, I'll, I'll end it there. Uh, let's go to the quote of the day for we... Uh, <laughs> Uh, people, uh, a free a people free to choose will always choose peace by Ronald Reagan and car of the day, which I'm chomping at the bit to get to, uh, the new, uh, 2022 Lamborghini Countach remastered. If you don't like it, I, I feel you. I didn't like it at first either. It's growing on me. Uh, nice Christmas present from my wife. There we go. And, uh, if you like the old school Countach, it's right there for you. Don't panic. All right. I'll see you on the next one. Hopefully you like this. Uh, thumbs up. Follow us on Twitter and Telegram, both linked just below. I'll see you there.